Hi. Okay, so we are in my dining room slash kitchen prepare space. Um, today we are going to be talking about this stuff right here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so a lot of people have heard about it already. Um, but it's called CMOS. So let me give you a zoom in of that. There we go. All right. It has like so many different vitamins and minerals and stuff. It's super good for you. Um, this one comes from Jamaica, um, I believe, and I think it's organic too. Um, it's this place on Fulton Street. Um, oh God, what's the name of it? It's like something Brooklyn, like Jimmy Brooklyn, Peter Brooklyn. It's not gonna come to me right now, but um, I'll probably put it here. Okay, sure. Now I really have to do it because I pointed. Um, okay, so that's where I got it from. Um, it was filled all the way to the top and it was only like $15, which really isn't that bad because um, this lasts twice. Um, it just, how can I describe it? Like, it tastes like, honestly, you would have to taste it. Like, it, it imagine applesauce, but thicker, um, and with a very, very faint lime taste. Um, getting used to the texture uh, does take getting used to. Um, but once you get over that, like you're pretty much good to go. If you put it in a smoothie, you won't taste it at all. Just try that this morning. Um, okay, so preparation. Um, this stuff is actually, it takes time um, to prepare. So the first thing you do is you take all of your sea moss and I'm gonna grab this full pot of water, okay. So you basically put it in a full pot of water. Probably shouldn't pour all that stuff in there. Anyway. Um, and this is gonna take like a few hours. Um, some people put it in the night, you know, before they need it. Um, if you're in a pinch, it could work in four hours. Um, I personally, I leave it around 24 hours and I'll change the water um, at the 12 hour mark um, just to get as much salt out of it as possible. Um, so speaking of the salt, so because it's so salty and it does taste like ocean, if you don't do this right, um, a lot of people use lines. Um, to kind of offset that flavor. So I've actually already like juiced a lime. So I'm just gonna pour that in there and just, I toss a little lime in there. Does it really matter? No. Um, okay, so when it goes in, it looks like this kind of weird looking and shrink. And after a few hours, it's going to look like this. It's gonna get bigger than this. This has only been in here maybe two hours already. Let me wait, let me see if I can zoom in on that. Okay, there we go. It made it. Okay, so that's only been about two hours. So that even that piece is gonna get bigger. Um, so I will come back when it is ready to put in the blender. All right, see you guys later. All right, and we're back. Okay, so it's been um, a little more than 24 hours, but I guess it's fine. Um, the sea moss um, has gotten significantly bigger. I'm gonna show you guys. Um, so this is kind of what you want it to look like. So yeah, it's gotten like way bigger. Yeah. Okay, so now that 
it's been soaking and it's pretty much done um we are going to put it in our blender okay so the thing with putting it in the blender um you do have to mix it with water um just a helpful tip use bottled water um because you never know what's in like the tap water and um it's just better if is it seven o'clock every day at seven o'clock everybody makes a ton of noise um but yeah so i'm just like putting some water in because i know it's going to be at least that big and i will turn the camera around in just a sec that may not even be enough water. Hmm. Let's see. Attempts are being made. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need some more water. I'm trying to grab like all these like itty bitty little pieces. Don't want to waste none. Oh, and also, um, when I was doing research on CMOS, a lot of people still like use this water like afterwards. Um, some people like drink it straight or like put it as like smoothie. Um like the liquid that you need for smoothies um i don't know if i'm gonna keep mine um i guess i'll try it and see how it goes because i know i like my smoothies on the sweeter side um but yeah so we'll we'll definitely see okay so i'm gonna switch you guys around so that you can see the blender all right let's see how this is gonna go all right so i guess i'll just keep you here and move the little thing it's not even a tripod i'm like using like my flower dispenser like container thing okay all right let's see if this works all right okay so as you can see like the water is like right here so that's really not enough water like even if i smush it down like it's still um not enough so i'm just gonna fill this to match where it is. You know what, just, yeah, just the rest. Um, okay, so the lime that I put in both um, water baths, um, I actually ran out of lime, and I went to the store today, and I still forgot, don't judge me. Um, but I did have some lemon, so this is just the juice of some lemon, just to once again try to cut down on the salty taste um i don't know like this is only my second time doing this so like when i made it before like i didn't necessarily taste like ocean or like salt like it just tasted like i don't know like a weird taste like that you can't quite put your finger on um but i didn't really get the saltiness i don't know if it was because i put so much lime or maybe i just did it really good that time i don't know um but hopefully this time it will have the same kind of consistency and taste um oh speaking of consistency whatever consistency it is when you finish with it um that it's gonna get thicker from there so you want to make it a little runnier than you would prefer because when you put it in the fridge it's gonna thicken up more okay I'm like over so i can like see yeah. okay they be doing this on buzzfeed that's why i got the idea oh that's kind of cute in there all right and we blend Okay, so we're back again, um, and 
this is now done this is how much it ended up being um let me see if i can get this top off okay so um trying to describe the consistency of this stuff okay um let's see uh i have like a knife that's all i have over here okay so that's definitely why they call it CMOS gel um yeah because it it really is gel like and as viscous as that was like it's gonna get thicker like the longer it sits and stuff um that's actually more than i intended to make um it can last anywhere between a week and two weeks and you're supposed to have a tablespoon or two of it a day some people do um a tablespoon twice a day um so you can do that um let me see some people put an apple in it so that it gives it like a sweeter taste um i kind of just elect to just chug it just take it um i don't know all the benefits of this stuff um you know offhand because i'm i'm pretty new to it there are tons of videos about you know the benefits of cmos gel um and how you can use it you can put it in soups and shakes um taking it straight or you know so many other like little different things um it's gonna be something different granted it will be different but um i know for myself like i feel better like i feel i don't know i guess more awake um it could be because of the cmos or it could be um these green pills that i'm taking wait i think i have them somewhere okay taking this stuff too it's called chlorella um it's basically just chlorophyll in pill form um i don't know which one of these two is doing it for me but i feel great um which is why i decided to make a video about it um I know sometimes like the natural stuff like it can be weird but like seriously like on some raw stuff like give this stuff a try like it don't taste the best like you just you got to get over that but if you can get over it take your tablespoon a day um it it really will make you feel better like after the first week like you'll you'll feel better especially if you're taking those two things together um the chlorella like it's like basically like plants like that's all it is it's like dried plants and um yeah i just feel more more alert like i can do more with my day like okay so you know how like when you like go to sleep all night and you get a full night of sleep and then you wake up and you're still exhausted like i don't feel that anymore so if you feel that then like try the stuff like seriously um okay so that was that was a lot i know that was a lot my bad um i uh, anything else i have to say no no i don't i think i think that's it okay so i will see you guys next time um i think i'm gonna do a video about how to make seitan i already took like some footage of like making seitan but it went horribly wrong which is why i never came out with the video um i figured that oh i'll do this again because this was bad so yeah that'll most likely be my next video if not it'll be something else but all right well i'll see you guys next time